Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick preview to the Phillies and Marlins. It is, of course, Caleb Smith, the lefty going against Zach Wheeler, our flamethrowing right-hander that we have now as our second ace on the staff that we hope to piggyback off of our struggling offense from yesterday. And then Noah pitched a decent game, but we all know how yesterday went, so let's just move on to today. Caleb Smith has a 419 in 18, 2018. He had that. He had a 4.52 last year. He's a very solid pitcher. Can get innings for you. He's had under or over, excuse me, 153 innings last year. So he's a guy that can eat some innings for you and pitch pretty well. But Wheels is a better pitcher than Caleb Smith. He's a guy that I personally believe is going to step up big time this year. I actually think he has a chance to finish top five in the Cy Young, and he has a 3.31 from 2018. Then he had a few more starts last year and had a 3.96. He had some really good times in those years, a 1.12 whip and a 1.26 whip, respectively, those years. So he's going to get better and better. He's a guy that I look to really come in and establish momentum early and really get us going to really build momentum for our offense because Knowles is a pitcher when he's really going good is able to do that but he had a great start yesterday 19 of 23 for strikes in the first two inning then nibbled and had his curveball where Wheeler even when he's a little off if he gave up say one two run shot hopefully that doesn't happen but if he's, he's a guy that can come in and blow it past you strike out with his breaking pitches as well and his fastball the next three guys and then that really grabs momentum back for you compared to Noel is just not really that same exact type of pitcher but the big thing here we have is McCutcheon's leading off again Reese is back in the two hole Bryce is three JT's four Mean Gene is five Diddy is six you hit the homer yesterday for a soul run obviously that was a great swing he looked fine yesterday Scotty Kingery, 7, Phil Goslin, the goose is loose in the lineup today, is 8, and Roman Quinn is 9. I like the Kutch and Quinn, 1 and 9, it kind of flips the lineup thing, but I also agree with my podcast partner, Andrew Santangelo, that I believe that it would make sense to lead off Quinn if he gets going, and then put Kutch 2nd, and then you would probably put Reese 4th, and then put Bryce 3 still, and then put JT5 and then move stuff around that way, however you want to do it that way. But <clears throat> either way, I think Hazley Quinn, if those guys get going, they would work well in the leadoff spot. And then you have Kutch, who can really drive people in as well, really get people going. Quinn, you know, is a stool in base when he gets on base, and Hazley can be that. So I think that does work out well. But also, please stay tuned for Andrews and I's True Philadelphia and Sportscast Jetpacks to the Bank segment. We're going to start doing tomorrow, not today, tomorrow, Sunday's game in the afternoon after as many post game segments and look ahead to the next series after each game. So please stay tuned for those. This has been a quick look ahead to today's game. I believe we match up well against Caleb Smith. I think Phil Gosson hit very well at the end of spring. That's why he's in the lineup. He feasts on lefties. I believe Kingery's going to be able to hit Smith. Gene Segura definitely is going to be able. I think he's a guy that you're going to get to see get going. Obviously, like I said yesterday, he came in in very good shape, looking very good. Didn't play the best yesterday. Nobody looked good off of Alcantara yesterday, or really their bullpen at all. The only person that looked good at all yesterday was Diddy, really. So I believe that we're going to come in, we're going to bounce back, and we're going to win this game. And Zach Weir was going to have a very good at least five innings pitch, I believe, personally. And well, maybe not five because he's not as, they don't they didn't expect him to go as deep as Noah. So I would say four and change innings pitch. He's going to look really good for it with the potential of five or more, depending on pitch count. But I do think Wheeler's going to look really good, and the Phillies will get this win. This has been a quick look ahead to the Phillies and Marlins. Peace out, everybody.